Come right out of that door into the arrivals hall and we're ready for them. We have a few early arrivals. I'll show them to you in just a second, but we're ready to go. Everything is set and organized and they're going to be coming out of there in just a moment. We got a few here that just got off of Lufthansa and we got more coming. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Toda. Some more folks, welcome. Hey, Steve. Welcome everybody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Here's Janet. Hi. She'll get your name checked Hi. off and howdy. get you over to our group. Hi. Welcome. Howdy. Long way, isn't it? Oh yeah, we do. Come on out. Here comes the rest of the group. Welcome. Greetings. Oh, there should be seven of you or eight, right? They're right there. Oh, it comes a whole come. family of eight. Right, yeah. How beautiful. Oh, I love having kids on the trip. Oh, I love. Hello, guys. Hello. You look tired. You're tired. Hey. Hey. Greetings. Thank you. You're we all in the movies it. now. We made it. We made it. <laughs> our bus is a new Mercedes. And this is David, our driver. He's loading up the luggage. And everybody's getting on the bus. We have a couple more I'm going back in to get. And then we're going to be on our way to Galilee. See, that's our sign right there. And there's Ted. There's all these folks already on. I'm going back in to get the last few. And we're glad you're here. And we'll be doing the best we can to avoid lines. We move quickly. We try to be very um, smart. I hate lines. <laughs> I absolutely despise lines and waiting, especially if you can avoid it. And so we try to be smart and do that. One call you'll hear, when you hear this, you'll know it means come quick. We can get in fast and beat two other groups. This is, it goes like this. <laughs> I can do it really loud. I didn't know. I didn't want to hurt your ears, but I can do it really loud. Those who have come with us before know that's the way sheep call, uh, shepherds call their sheep in Bethlehem. They go, Burr! and we've done it when we made our movies. We rented two times. We rented flocks of sheep, $200 a day in case you're wondering what it costs. And I learned to get the sheep to follow me by going, burr, 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 and they'd come. So, so what a fun way to, to do with the groups, you know. <laughs> and so when you hear that, it means come quick, stay together. You may be in a group, a whole big group of other people, and I'll go, burr, and they all look like, who is that? And they'll think I'm nuts, but you guys are smart. You'll know exactly what I meant, smart as a fox. And we will maybe get into places at times where we can avoid lines that way. Somebody said, what's the proper response to? Burr. You just go, meh. <laughs> but no, we have a lot of fun together. You're going to enjoy this trip. I should have forgot. I forgot this, but I should have handed the microphone to Father Alfonso to open in prayer. Because every day on a pilgrimage begins with prayer. Or we submit the day to the Lord that he would teach us and protect us and have us learn everything that we can along the way. Or we're better disciples of Jesus Christ. By the way, Janet and I do this not as a way of making income or a way of taking tours or a way of giving you a good time. Our main goal is we want to convert the world. I want people to be authentic Catholics, disciples of Jesus Christ. And I don't think there's a better way to do that than to bring you to the Holy Land and take you to these places, pray mass and rosary and talk and learn. Because the reports we get back from people is it changed their lives. The Bible came alive and they're real disciples of Jesus Christ now even more than when they came. And that's our goal. That's really what our whole purpose is to do. Okay, Father. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us uh, start with the uh, blessing of pilgrims we have in our booklet. 
All powerful God, you always show mercy toward those who love you, and you are never far away for those who seek you. Remain with your servants on this holy pilgrimage and guide their way in accord with your will. Shelter them with your protection by day. Give them the light of your rays by night. And as their companion on the journey, bring them to their destination in safety. Amen. For this, uh, such a safe uh, flight for all of us who come from different places and took different uh, various planes. And so we are all together here gather in your name, uh, enjoying and try to enjoy all the graces and blessings you are going to give us as we follow the footprints of God. So thank you Lord for all this wonderful safe flight we had, all of us here uh, with no problem. So much, but I'm making a movie of this trip for you. I take pictures and videos all day long with this. And while I'm sitting up here, I have minute here or there, I'm editing the movie. Usually by the time dinner's over and I get to my room, it's already up on YouTube and your family and friends can be home watching it. We'll see what you did that day. So you'll see me do, I'm not playing video games. <laughs> and you can interrupt me anytime. I, what I'm doing is not, you can interrupt me. It's no big deal. I'm just editing the movie, taking pictures, that kind of thing. So please feel free to interrupt me, ask questions anytime. And if you want to say hello to your family and friends back home, if you know they're watching, Please come up anytime and do a shout out and say hello, Billy, Bob, Jan, Jim, Sue, glad to have having a great time, miss you or whatever. Come on up and you'll do a 10, 15 second little shout out to your family and they can watch it. At the end of the trip, 30 days from the end of the trip, my grandsons are very good at technology. They take all of my videos and pictures and they edit them into a nice 90 minute movie, the highlights of the pilgrimage. So you'll get that um, 90 day, uh, 30 days after the trip. Well, we've just arrived. There's Father Alfonso, the first one off the bus. <laughs> and now comes the porters to start unloading the luggage. We're at the Ron Beach. Look how nice they are. They put a nice sign up there for us. Welcome well, Steve and Janet Ray for Ryan touring all times at the Holy Land. The Ron Beach Hotel. Ron. Sweet Ron. <laughs> Sweet Ron. And we're getting off the bus. There's Ted and Donna. They've come with us lots of times. Avram, you're on the movies. <laughs> Good to see you. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. There's the owner of the place. We love these guys. One of them. One of them. Oh, they're brothers. And here's our schedule for the next two days, so everybody knows what we're doing today, tonight, and tomorrow. Nice little shop, and here we all come in. Good evening, good evening. Good to be here. Hello. Well, we've arrived at Duran Beach, and now everybody's settled down for dinner. Here's the family. They came with us, uh, but they came a day early. Here's what they get today. Soup, lentil soup, and all the salads. This is wonderful food. Oh, look at that. Your favorite, Janet, avocado. Wonderful salads. Everybody's lining up here for the desserts. That wonderful desserts. And this ice cream is made out of soy. And then here's all the entrees. Everybody gets a free glass of wine with their dinner, too. And they've got a really nice selection of wines. Here's the other owner. Here's the other owner. Mula. Mula. And this is David. He's in charge. He's David's in charge of the uh, dining area. He's our maitre d'. Thank you, David. He takes good care of our group. Thank you very much. our group this is our whole section you know you're eating in the right place if you see that sign right there 
Well, it's the first night. Everybody's always tired, but it's good to get a good meal. And then we're going to have mass, and we're going to go to sleep. You are hearing the gentle waves of the Sea of Galilee breaking on the rocks here at our Ron Beach Hotel. We will soon be having mass here as everybody is gathering right here now on the shore of the Sea of Galilee for Mass. To celebrate these great mysteries, let us acknowledge our failures and sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the blessed merit of every virtue, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We start with my faith here because we are by the Sea of Galilee. We don't see. <laughs> <laughs> you have faith that it's out there. Yeah. You'll see tomorrow. Just a reminder, the wake-up call is at 545 because there's some that weren't with us on the bus and some were asleep on the bus. And uh, set your own alarms too, please, because just to be safe, the, they're going to open breakfast for us early at 615 so come down right away. You've got a half an hour for breakfast. So we want you on the bus at 10 to 7 because we're going to leave at 7 sharp. And if everybody comes at 10 to 7, by the time we get on and loaded, we calculate it takes 10 minutes to load a bus. It takes 7 minutes to unload a bus, 10 minutes to load a bus. So if you get there at 10 to 7, we'll all be on 7 o'clock. We're heading to Mount Tabor for Mass, and we have to be the first ones there to catch the taxis, okay? God bless you all. Have a good night's sleep. Wear we'll your name tags, please. Yeah, wear your name tags in the morning for sure. Thank you.